sorry but i just wanted to let you know you know because of maggie the way you tried no one in india does it trust me none of the people who eat in india just boil and put the masala in there we do some or the other thing okay we are like we we have a problem we don't do anything straight like you can ask any indian maybe there are some yeah maybe i will agree i also used to but mostly we all do this way when i saw six voice messages in my dms from one person i was like oh boy what did i do wrong Luckily, I found a very wholesome message that included a Maggi recipe. Big thank you to Raktim for sending it to me and teaching me that it's best not to follow the Maggi noodle instructions. Hi Lisa, um I just saw, saw your Maggi video that day you were trying Maggi. So, just wanted to know it's a recipe I tried from my childhood. I still eat to this day. So, it consists of basically like you put every vegetables everything and just put water and boil it like that's it. It takes around 20 minutes to me. I'm too lazy to write uh, write the entire recipe. I'm really sorry for that. So, first of all, you want to take a hot dog and you want to cut it into thin slices or if you want you can cut it in full small pieces and then season the hot dog with only the hot dog with salt, chili powder and coriander powder that's it then you want to toss it in the oil you want to heat up some oil toss the hot dogs in the oil and fry it little okay then you want to cut some potatoes into cube the potato and the hot dog should be like you know first the hot dog should go then the potato so the hot dog gets crispy and it's a little bit good the potatoes are not boiled though okay just remember that the potatoes are not boiled after it looks good don't overcook the potatoes or else it gets really mushy just a bit okay and then you want to put in the oil around 4 cloves of garlic and 3 green chilies I put five. I eat a lot of spice. I put five green chilies. Then you want to uh, after a little saute that the onion and garlics. They are included uh, all together with the potatoes and sausage now, right now. And then put one whole onion. That's it. And uh, around uh, I use actually around three fourth onion because it is a uh, perfect for one maggi. Then you want to toss that little. Then put one, a half tomato. and uh, i use frozen vegetables like which has uh, carrot and peas use that then you put all together and saute and you want to put uh, spices into the sauteing vegetables which are a uh, teaspoon salt then turmeric around half 1/4 teaspoon then red chili powder that's it then you want to cover the lid and cook the vegetables for around 2 minutes then open it put coriander coriander powder you have to put little bit of much then chili powder if you use 1 teaspoon chili powder it should be like 1 and 1/2 teaspoon like that coriander powder that's it then little fry it up you can put chili flakes if you want anything you can do then now after all spices are done put water according to how much maggi you are doing just put water then uh, let the water boil and put your maggi in don't break it is better if you don't break it it comes a long long is very good and just keep the maggi let it boil let the water boil don't cover the lid let it be there just place the maggi there once it gets little loose remember we didn't put the spice still okay once it run loose little little it gets loose keep stirring so that it breaks apart okay then let it boil then when the water is little bit left put 3/4 of the spice mix of the noodles 3/4 of the spice don't put the entire spice that is the reason we use the 1/4 spice left for the last just on the top once you put the spice mix the noodles crack one egg salt pepper put over the that boiling noodles like that time the water is gone already so put over the boiling noodles and yeah that's it so then you just take it off put the remaining spice on top you got got it and really sorry for being really a long voice message um thank you love your videos sorry for being so and taking your time oh that is spicy but very very good and much better than the first time i made maggi noodles this was a really enjoyable dish much spicier than i expected still really delicious thank you so much for the suggestion so besides the delicious flavor of the spices i think 
My next favorite thing about this is the potato starch that is coating the noodles. It adds like a different texture besides just, I don't wanna say slimy noodles, but smooth noodles. It adds the starch to it and it's really good. It's getting close to hot hot for me. I finished everything. This is so good.